What's going on YouTube? It's Blaze Gaming back with another YouTube video. And yeah, I'm gonna show you two builds today that will change the way you play, alright? <laughs> Both of them are extremely broken. Okay? So in case you're struggling with the build you have right now, I got you fam. These are the two builds. Look, I'm gonna let you know right now. Both of them are guards. One is a point guard, which I'm about to show you right now. The other one's a shooting guard. You know what I'm saying? So you can skip later on in the video when I um start talking about the shooting guard, which is a two-way slashing playmaker. This one is a three-level scorer. So in case you're interested, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, let's just jump right into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to pick the green and blue. You want to pick the fastest pie chart because all the other, the two other stats might. From what I've been testing, doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really, um, doesn't really change anything. Yeah. Put that up. Uh, you know, I don't think you should really have post moves as a um, good. <laughs> there we go. Man, yeah, you don't really need that. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go like this. Just so you can get the um, better finishing. That, or if you want to be more defensively, you can put it in your interior. I mean, not interior. Your um, defensive rebound. I think it's six defense. But I'm going to say, forget that. I'm a guard. And I want to play more offense. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go 20 shooting. And put the rest in finishing. So I'll have 15 finishing, 20 shooting, 12 flimicking, and 2 um, defensive edges. That's not bad for a guard, in my opinion. Is. People might say, oh, it doesn't really matter. But to me, I feel like body shape matters. Like, if I pick Burley, I just feel like the player plays better. I don't know, that's probably just me. But yeah, you want to make this dude 6'5, so your driving note can go up by 1. So you get 78, which is huge. But yeah. It's insane. So, if I, I would like, minimize his weight. Alright. Um, either you can expand his wingspan so you can get, you know, more defense. But like I said, I'm going to play more offensively on this build. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you want to play more defensively, um, just skip later on to the video so you can pick the two-way slashing play. But like, yeah. Uh, I guess it's all to you guys. For honestly, I'll probably pick it like right here. Yeah, right here. Seventy-eight point eight. That's where I'll put it. Now this is a huge. You can get spot up take, slashing take, playmaking take, or shot creator. In my opinion, spot up take is the best take, and like the best takeover in this game. Slashing take. Uh, it's an iffy like. You can still miss with it, but like spot up take, you have to try to miss if you want to miss with this build. Like a three pointing, insane. All right, I'm telling you, the three pointing is insane, especially like if you start with, with your takeover, bro. All right, yeah, I don't care for the overall, but yeah, this is how I put on my badges. You want that Hall of Fame? Krosky's score is like. It's all to you if you want to be like more for, like finesse somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like you dribble a little bit, then when you're trying to do a fade next to the basket, this is what you mainly need right here. Cross key score. Because it increases your pull ups, fades, layups, close shots, you know what I'm saying? Across the paint. But if you want them contact dunks, you know what I'm saying? Gonna need, gonna need this. So like that or this. I almost like go like this. My acrobat basically boosts your layups that like half spin, hop spin, euro, cradle, reverse, basically anything. As long as you get like a weird animation, that increases it. Even if you get contested, acrobat will increase the chances of you making it. So it's pretty broken. Volume, in my opinion, that's a must. In case you missed a few shots, the next one pretty much is almost guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, green machine. I want to have it, I put it right here, flexible, max out, catch and shoot, max out, 
You know what I'm saying? Not, I mean, you're a guard, so you don't really need to. You know what I'm saying? You can have it like this. Something like this. Right? Or you can have it like this. Now, the, I, this is how I put my badges because I'm a guard. I pretty much can fade, so difficult shots, stuff like that. I mean, oh yeah, by the way, my mom talking about fading. The new patch that released today, what, I think it's like 1.3. They, they nerf fades, so like, I don't know how I feel about that yet until I play against a guard that, that can fade. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. Honestly, this is what I'm most likely go with. Clamps and Intimidator. That, yeah, or you can go Silver Pickpocket. But I do not recommend that whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Or you can get Rim Protector just for the better animations. For blocking. Well, like I said, that's all to you guys. Well, yeah, this is how I'm most likely put my badges. Anyways, on to the slashing play. Alright, yeah. As you can clearly see, I picked Shooting Guard. Alright, let's go. Now you want to pick the playmaking and red pie chart. There's pie chart here. Fastest pie chart. For physicals. Max this out. This. This. If you want to, you can max out your standing. Yeah. I mean, you're not really going to be shooting three, so I don't know if you really want that. But I'm going to just max out my mid-range free throw so I can get at least a few shooting badges. So in case if I actually have to shoot mid-range, I'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? So, or what you could do, max this out, and standing, go back up. So, you can either do this, or reduce your d defensive, I think it, yeah, yeah, 16, then max out your standing for 10. And, but in my opinion, it's not really worth it, because you'll still get 9 anyways, so, yeah, this is all, this is the setup I'm mostly going to go with. You get more defending, you get whole bunch of playmaking, you get four shooting, so in case you have to shoot the mid-range, you'll be fine, and nine, finishing, so you can dunk over somebody if you have to. Yes, no, I'm joking. So, you, you can, in my opinion, I'll leave him with like 6-5. Yeah, obviously, yeah, max out the wingspan. Hold up, before, before I pick the takeover, I want you guys to look at his defensive stats, bro. Look at that steal. Look at that rebounding. Alright? Look at the blocking. That's insane. You're a guard, and yet you're able to put up those stats. That's insane, bro. Alright. So, up to you guys, which one you want to pick. In my opinion, I'll most likely pick the lockdown defender. Because if you're... Okay. If someone's dribbling the ball, right? Let's say you just... You see someone dribbling up court. You know what I'm saying? If you just... If you go in front of them, right? And if you have these badges, I'm about to show you guys right here, right? On defense. If you have Halfing Clamps, right? All right, I'll just put these in. If you have Halfing Pickpocket, all right? These two, Clamps and Pickpocket, work so well together. All right? When someone is dribbling the ball, press square on them. They will be stunned. They wouldn't be able to move at all. Especially if that takeover, lockdown takeover, they won't be able to move. They can barely move, bro. Trust me. I test this build, bro. It's insane how much damage you can do on the perimeter or even the interior. And you're a shooting guard. Okay? That's insane. That's insane. But yeah. Like this? Like Heart Crusher in this game, bro, is so broken. Room Protector in this game is so broken. If you get a block, bro, and especially if you have a lockdown take, your takeover is just going to skyrocket. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Playmaking. Now, if your um, guard, if your guard is a, a bot and he doesn't know what he's doing, get diver. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if the ankle breakers are in this new patch, um, 1.3. But, yeah, I almost like to roll with this. I picked tight handles instead of like Hall of Fame space because of um one reason actually let me read this this no there we go I picked um let's go tight handles over space creator because tight handles hang on sorry I'm just 
a mess. But tie handles increases the player's ball handling. Ball handling, holy crap! Ability to size up situations. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you go like crossover behind the back, something like that, you're they will be stunned. They won't be able to move whatsoever. They will just be stuck there. It, it, trust me, it it's insane. But finishing, I'll put that silver, uh, put this in gold, and contact silver. Because you mainly want that done because you don't want the layups. But I mean, yeah, I just picked this just in case, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, this is not really a need acrobat. But yeah, this is what almost like a roll with. Trust me, it works. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. It's pretty insane. <laughs> That's it. Like I said, especially the hard pressure. Because if you block steel, you, their takeover would just drain. It's insane. I'm saying so. Yeah. But this is what I'm going to be talking about right here, alright? Watch this. Alright, there we go. Watch this. Well, look at He can't move. That's it. I mean, I understand against the AI and stuff like that, but that's insane. If you're able to clamp up somebody, let them watch that. They can't make a shot. They, they can't make a shot. Because the Hall of Fame Intimidator and stuff like that. It, like I said, it's just insane, bro. Then you can just lay up, like I said, this build, this two-way slashing play. Every year, I feel like it's always been broken. So look at that. He can't do anything. Dunk. See? that? That's insane, bro. That's insane. That's insane. Hey guys, look at this, bro. Is this? Give me, look at. That. Give me room, green. You, you give me room on the three. I'm greening, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. This is insane. Both these builds are insane. Look at that. Look at that. Just, I just said, give me that. Buckets. I'm telling you, bro. Both these builds are insane. Look at that. I almost got the interception. But yeah, keep in mind, bro, that you're not as fast as a P shot. Like, P shots usually rock like 95 speed. Like, when they're max 99, stuff like that. But at the same time, you're sacrificing speed for power. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> they can't stop you, bro. You have any of these builds, they just can't stop you. Defense and an offense. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I, my, oh, I got screened. But I was holding Derrick Rose. Look at that. Yeah, keep in mind, you're, you're pretty small with that. So, yeah. <laughs> it didn't help. But yeah, earlier when I was playing... When I was making this build and I was playing it, I was saying, like, I was talking about for me, I got a snatch block. So that goes to show you, even with a low amount of block, look at that steal. Even with a low amount of block, you can still, uh, uh, you can still get snatch blocks and apparently content. Look at that, dunk. That's mine. Look at that. Look, I'm just stealing the ball like it's nothing. Do you see, do you see how broken this build is? Do you guys see how broken this build is, bro? That, that's just, no, that's not. This should not be a thing. This build, it's so OP. I'm telling you, this build is just too overpowered. It is brick. I keep thinking I'm on my stretch for some reason. Anyways, look at this. Step back, right? Buckets. You get white ink, like, a white green animation. I'm, I'm just telling you, this build is so peace. And think of the two-way, bro. Oh, yeah, that's the three-level score, bro. Seriously. I, in my opinion, I find two of these builds enjoyable. I, I got this, like, I got the same build here. I just made it have slashing just to see what it's like they're both the exact same build like i said just different take but yeah bro it, yeah i'm gonna switch to this one 
But yeah, it honestly, these two builds right here is just insane. But yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, like, subscribe, comment if you want to. Hit the bell for it. Oh my goodness, I always mess this up. That's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you're new, like, subscribe, comment if you want to. And hit that bell for notifications. You join Red Army, you know what I'm saying? Every day we expand. <laughs> but yeah, until we, until we meet again, keep on, baby. Keep on. Peace out. Oh!